this week's flower from the florist it's fresh from the market as you can see there's tulip which is around the city everywhere right now uh, and I really like this color is bright it's a very cloudy day here but this flower makes it all better hi everyone this is Roxy welcome to my channel um, I started my own fashion brand after I left the corporate world so even in my everyday life I continue to work on my sensitivity to all things and to what is beautiful and this is really beautiful um, this is actually presented to me like an art because I don't have the talent to create something like this how to match this with that I mean I can do it with jewelry and clothes but with flower I feel like it's a different domain um, but anyway, so in my everyday life, whenever I shop online or offline, I care a lot about how the storefront looks, whether it's an online shop or an offline shop, and also the packaging of the products. There's so much that I want to share with you, and I thought I would start with this. Drip coffee. Drip bag coffee, specifically. Why I picked this? Because there's products that rely pretty much exclusively on their packaging to make the sale because you don't always get the chance to taste it let me put my flowers here first ha. my monster book actually matches with the vase it's like a vase um okay so going back to what i was saying there are products that rely exclusively on their packaging to make the sale because you don't always get the chance to taste it or to talk to a specialist. Bad coffee and beer or alcohol are some of those products. And I've seen that in the past year, almost everyone, almost everyone in my office have a bag of this, a box of this on their desk. It's, there's no grinding or complicated tools involved. It's fast and easy. The one cup size design also let us change different beans, roast, and origins after every cup. So it's very easy for us to switch things up. Um, and look at, so today I wanted to share with you all these bag coffee, drip bag coffee that I have with me. So I picked a few boxes. I actually have a lot more than this. I kind of like hoard it on them. I got taken away because I saw so many of them online and they all have all these very interesting um, and pretty or pretty or very sleek design anyway so let's start um, right off the bat look at the cool box that it comes in it has this little scorecard for your acidity water temperature and the strength preferences. You can score the different coffees you try and then find out the best drip bag selection for your taste. I am not a professional coffee drinker, but marking the scorecard has definitely added some fun to the process. Um, and also, I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of vocabulary because even in Chinese, I had no idea there are that many ways to describe acidity. So it uses a very sleek and consistent gray and red across all of the packaging that helps you to create a modern but warm look. So this is the first one and it tastes really well. And look at how it looks like a document, like this old draw that people have before the computer stage era, however you call it, my English. Okay, so the next one is this. Um, I'm almost finished with it as you can see and this one the design is very modern as they directly present the details of the coffee uh, on the back and there are other indicators such as the acidity as well and also the flavor and balance and more so these numbers are also um, reflected in a very colorful and geometry chart for you to easily read and also it's just 
Also, I like these um, on the front, as you can see, it's very dark and a uh, very modern look, but on the back, because of this colorful um, matrix, it kind of creates a little bit more to, to what the front gives you. Okay, I hope you know what I'm trying to say. So the third box that I wanted to share with you is one of my favorites. It's the perfect example of minimal and aesthetic with a quirky twist. So here it comes. As you can see, the very obvious the top thing that goes into your eyes is 996. So what does that mean? It means working from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. So this was so me. Us. This is uh, like a very cute caricature of corporate employees in Asia and we keep calling ourselves corporate slaves because of this 996 work model and it was always amusing to randomly see a funny little reminder of yourself at the beginning of the day when you open up a coffee as you can see it has all these different <laughs> this little man that's doing all these things that makes you laugh but also it could make you sad I literally was like this one time when my uh, when I had to turn in a file and I was outside I had my laptop with me I couldn't find a place there was no place I was right next to the street so this was how I work Yep. And the last one here is comes in an envelope. And it's my favorite two colors, black and white. Um, so this one is actually a code brew coffee bag. I remember when I used to live in the States, everyone everyone loved a cold drink my host family had an ice making machine on their fridge so i figured maybe if you would want to try a cold brew coffee it's even simpler than the regular cold drip bag coffee so this is what's inside and um you just rip it open and you will see a bag which is just like the tea bag uh, you put it in water or your favorite milk and you put it in the fridge and you let it sit overnight and the next morning you will have your favorite cobra latte or cobra coffee so this packaging is a clean um, white and black design with an easy understanding with a very easy understanding uh, instruction at the back so the design is very clean, but it gives you this feeling that it's very high-end because a lot of the big brands, luxurious brands, as you can see, they always have a very minimal design. So I have a lot more of these bagged coffees with me and I've been, you know, I just like every morning picking a packet with a different design and see what I can find and give myself a little surprise. So now let's take a look at what's inside these bags. So drip coffee bags are actually invented by Japanese from 1990. And I have to say, Japanese design always strike me as minimal, but very practical. And when I was doing some readings on the drip bags, I came across some statistics that said coffee consumption in the United States is expected to soar by 10% and as I mentioned earlier drip bag has become really popular in markets such as China, Japan, Taiwan, South Korea with sales in billions so from a business perspective I think there are some great opportunities for drip bags in other parts of the world as well I have always thought that opening a coffee shop is a very romantic thing because you get to see all these people from all walks of life and interact with them listen to their stories and receive all kinds of inspiration but the initial investments and efforts that needed to start a store is pretty significant so maybe you can start something like an online store that sell drip back coffee um that's all i have to share with you today
I just got off work and I am so excited today because my team and I have finally finalized our spring and summer lookbook. I know that it's very, very late. It's April already compared to the others. Um, but it's the first time for us to be in this industry and it's the first time for all of us to be an entrepreneur. So I'm just really happy that we could work collaboratively and get it done. So there's that. And oh, another thing that I am super happy today is I got these from my former colleagues as a gift. Um, these cute earrings, they are like, uh, women are uh, astronauts women astronauts with these pearl wings I feel like and I I put them on right away so okay now that I finished a whole day of work apart from this gift I decided to give myself a little more treat I'm gonna order myself something for dinner something that I usually won't have because it's too heavy a pizza my pizza is here and I also just washed myself some blueberry and this is the beer I love, really love lately this one is apple crumble infused cider it's the flavor that I really like I mean I'm my favorite flavor it has cinnamon cloves it kind of tastes like it's perfect for for autumn I guess but it's spring I don't care I love it let's move this aside it smells so good. Oh, it's so warm. This half is truffle and mushroom, and this half I've never had it before. It's pistachio with hem. Oh, but all right, I'm gonna start digging. My, I'm gonna start digging into my dinner. I hope you enjoyed this very short but uh, happy sharing with you about my day. I really hope that I have sent some good vibes to you and I hope your day is going as well as mine. Um, if you would like, feel free to leave comments below to share your day with me. I will read through them and get back to you. And I hope you enjoy your day, bye.